So Zamasu come down to this man looking like a Disney Channel bully putting his hand on the wall and shit. And then he says, oh, Goku. Yeah, go Goku went crazy this scene. Nigga said, Boom. Holy Goku Black. All right, let's see the examples that he presents in this video to see why he was added to the Black Air Force energy. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like. Let's get right into it. The God Who Hated Mortals. The Zero Mortals plan. Oh, he was definitely Black Air Force energy on SpongeBob. Finally completed, and we inducted a man that could throw Cinderella's castle. With one hand, has brought hell on Earth, and a man who stole Goku's whole flow. He copied my whole fucking flow. Word for word, bar for bar. Will this mortal hate Nas Kai prove that he is him? Find out today on Goku Black slash Amasu, the God who hated the mortals. Ladies and gentlemen, now I'll be honest with y'all. I don't know how to start off this video. The brain fog is already <laughs> kicking in. But what I do brain know fog. is that this nigga was moving around like a goddamn death eater the first time you saw him. This nigga was just moving through the clouds, slithering and shit. And he had this man Trunks looking rough. Bro looking beat the fuck up. Dusty as hell. Nigga lost his drip. Bro, bro, I don't know about y'all, but I prefer Z Trunks rather than Super Trunks. I mean, Z Trunks look so... He, he was fit like he looked actually like a badass on like, super trunks i ain't gonna lie bro he looked like he'll give you a hug before he fuck it fuck, i don't know bro his hair probably went from purple to blue but nah this man black was playing no games the first thing you see this man do is just straight up kill boma this up in the lab causing mass property damage grabs boma looks trunks dead in his eyes and says fuck your mama nigga and eviscerates her my God, buddy, wait a minute. I think that was like the first episode, too. The first full episode of this arc. But nah, this man was not done going for Trunks' loved ones. Because he went after his shawty next. So Trunks and Maya is trying to escape so they can go back in time. But this nigga Black comes in like a F5 tornado. And he ends up becoming the ultimate cock block. Bro, hit him with the... I like his I like his neon key blast as well. So Mai decided to start laying some cover fire, but Nah nah Mai is definitely the girl you want on your side. Like when you going into battle, you definitely want Mai on your side. She riding for you. The fuck is a gun gonna do against this nigga? Well, I mean CJ Goku did get shot in the back in Resurrection F. Man, shut your bitch ass up. But anyways, uh Bro Blue was shot of y'all. An absolute menace. Oh my shawty. Alright, get the fuck out, please. You the only coach I got left. <laughs> <laughs> you bitch. And then we end up getting the reveal. Standing at five nine way. This reveal was awesome. Goku. Wait a minute. And he like, well, how do you do, you insufferable hate? Oh, I can't wait to beat the dog shit out. Again. What did he say? This man Black started talking shit. Bro was looking down on Trunks and started saying, Are you done gawking over that dead bitch of yours, Neenigan? <laughs> Why, bro? <laughs> Quick cry. She should feel honored that she had divine judgment by a god. And Goku Black didn't even turn Super Saiyan yet. Yeah, he liked that shit. He Ooh, look at Goku Black going in the oh my yo, I I miss Dragon Ball Super so much. Bro, he punched Trunks straight into the wall. No hesitation, came straight at him with a kick right to the gut once he kicked him straight to the wall. Y'all see this? He kicked Trunks to the wall. He hit Trunks to the wall. What? Look, he already come straight in with a kick. Look at that. Man. The only thing I really want about this Goku Black arc, I wish it was longer. Like, that's the only con thing about Super. The arcs were kind of short. I wish they were really longer. I like the long arcs. Get ready to join your mother in that dead hoe. So 
this man start charging up a key blast and hit him with that. Say goodnight, monkey. But Trunks is up throwing the sword at him like a boomerang. And that man Trunks was gone. He was not trying to hang around with this crazy ass nigga. Dude, what is this guy? So bad he had to jump to another timeline. So when Trunks jumps to the present timeline, the first person he ends up seeing is it's Goku. Goku. Started freaking out. Black done gave this man immense PTSD. But nah, this man Black was pissed. Bro was like, where the hell did you go? You goddamn saying that? Bro, we're crazy. Oh, this man Black said you ain't going nowhere, ho ass nigga. <laughs> nah, that was crazy. Oh, this man Black like. Uh, there you That's when I first heard about the time ring. I don't think they ever mentioned the time ring ever in Dragon Ball besides this arc. You are pussy. Oh, and what's this? Is that my nigga Goku? I, <laughs> I don't know who the fuck you are. Uh, of course you don't, you primitive ape. Obviously, Goku being Goku, he gonna try to fight this nigga. So, bro, like, hey, it's me, Goku. Wow, you look kind of strong. Also, you kind of look just like me. You want to catch this fade? <laughs> Say less, nigga. So, bro, she's... <laughs> Say less, nigga. <laughs> the generic DBZ Canyon Wasteland that they always fight at. But I ain't gonna lie, Goku started handling this nigga. Bro, hit him with this Ray Mysterio-ass move. Then hit him with an old nasty key blast barrage. But this man, Black, was not fazed. He was and eating that. where bro started to kind of get a little freaky. So bro started laughing and hit him with his catchphrase. What I see. Outstanding Goku. Hit me more. Hit me more. Uh, hey, buddy, you like a masochist or something? Look at this aura by Goku Black. I love that black, that black purple aura that Goku Black had. It's kind of like uh, the God of Destruction power. And I remember when this arc was going throughout, I think there was a theory going around that Goku Black was like a god of destruction, but he was actually just a Kai. Pull it up close, monkey. So Black started rushing him and laughing at the same time, and Goku is looking at Ooh, Look at him dodges. Look, look at him dodges, bro. Yes, yes. Hey, I love the hand-to-hand -hand combat uh, just fight scenes in Dragon Ball in general, bro. Look at the way, look, 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 look at the way Goku dodging that shit. Ooh, cut it down. Ooh. Man again saying some freaky shit. <laughs> yes, Goku. You can hit me all you want. It's only gonna make me stronger. Hey, uh, I know you look like me, but you're kind of starting to freak me out now. So then Black powers up to Max and does one of the nastiest combos I've ever seen. Bro charged up a key blast, threw it, uses that as a distraction, and kicked the shit. Oh, that was nice. That was nice. Sweet, great googly moogly nigga. That's a backbreaker. But then this man Trunks had the bright idea to yell out, Careful, not the time machine. Goofy. Black, like, Goofy, why did he say that? That's how you got here. This makes my job 10 times easier. He gonna destroy it. They're still fighting. Black starts to get pulled back by the time ring. So before he ends up getting pulled back to the future timeline, fans looks at the time machine and says, ah, Fuck your shit, nigga. <laughs> hey, the crowd, the crowd noise that he adds to the edit. <laughs> you bastard. So then later on after this, this man gets back to the future. And look at this man smiling and shit like he got heartburn or something. Somebody need to get this nigga some Tums. So then this man starts falling to the ground all graceful and shit. Then dude starts saying, oh, yes, Goku. With the ass whooping and the immense amount of hot bun you just gave me, I will take some Tums and drill your power into my head. And the next time I see you bitch ass niggas, me and my nigga will run your pockets with pure divinity. Exhibit B, Exhibit B Zamasu. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, now to fully understand Goku Black and what he actually is, well, there is one man that we have to talk about. And you probably Ew, what the fuck happened to Gohan's face? Zamasu. Because uh, I don't know if y'all know this, but uh Zamasu and Black are the same nigga. 
Wow, I know, shocker. But anyways, Zamasu, the apprentice Kai of the garbage ass 10th universe, cause them niggas stuck in the- Oh, they had trash fighters from that universe. Everybody's name on that team. But anyways, when you first look at Zamasu, nothing seems to be wrong with the dude. But I mean, besides the fact that that motherfucking haircut is absolute garbage. Motherfucker ain't got no type of face. <laughs> that shit look, look like the James Charles special. But little did we know that this man was competing with Frieza for the title of the ultimate racist. I mean, you can start to see it when Zamasu and Gawasu had their daily tea party. <laughs> <laughs> daily tea party. I don't know. Even when they revealed that he was going to be like a villain in this arc, I just never viewed in a Supreme Kai as a threat. Like, they just never seemed like a world threat to me in this series of Dragon Ball. I, I, maybe that's just me, but I just never really see them as a threat. Even when they, they revealed Goku Black as Zamasu is the same person, I'm just like, okay, you still trash. You had to fucking come inside of Goku's body to actually have a chance between Goku and the others. If you literally stayed in your Supreme Kai body, you would have been, he would have been smoked first episode. That's the reason why he got Goku's body from a different timeline because he knew with his body alone, he would not stand a chance. My, my Zamas, this tea smells divine. Now let's see how it tastes. He did not even put it in his mouth. Zamas, this tea is divine and brings balance to the force. Uh, thank you, Master. But Master, I have some questions for you. Go on. Master, why do we have to watch over these foolish ninigans? <laughs> the fuck do you mean, my nigga? I mean, <laughs> that's our job. But master, with all due respect, these mortals are just foolish inbreds. They'll do some stupid shit like pay twenty nine ninety nine for a bitch's OnlyFans when the hey, hey, I don't know about y'all, but I ain't never dropped a penny, not even a penny on a bitch OnlyFans. The fuck I look like paying for a girl to pop some? Y'all know porn is free, right? Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Thanos was right. Zamas, do not think like that, boy. Well, master, what the fuck do you know? Zamas, calm yourself. Zamas, you must not let the dog side take over. Now, as you can see from my demonstration, something is clearly wrong with Brody. I mean, he ain't wrong about the OnlyFans tech, but uh, but this man clearly has a disdain for mortals. But then later on, more red flags started to pop up. Cause when Goku, Whis, and Beerus came to Universe Ten, look at how they drew fucking Beerus. Like that's when red flags started to pop up. Cause when Goku, Whis I mean, look at this, bro. The way they drew beers, bro. Like, bro, I gotta go to the fucking creator desk or where the animation studio, wherever they be fucking creating Dragon Ball Super. I gotta smack the person who fucking submitted this shit to, to, to fucking air on TV. Like, how you gonna draw my mind? The God of Destruction beers like this, bro. This man Goku runs straight up to Zamasu and says, Hey, it's me, Goku. Wow, you look strong as fuck. Fight me, nigga. Who the fuck is this motherfucker? Wow, you look like you don't even have any type of muscles. They make Zamasu fight Goku. So Goku powers up to Super SS2. Saiyan 2. This man Zamasu looking at him like, oh, impossible. How was a mortal Ningen reach this level of power? So Goku started bull rushing Zamasu, but Zamasu hit him with that. You ain't strong enough, Zamasu. Foolish mortal. No, Zamasu, you ain't strong enough. Goku ends up countering it, and he ends up filling his aura, and he's like, oh my god. This Same aura like Goku Black. Yeah, Zamasu, you don't got no much strength. You don't got much strength to block it. And this scene alone is what started the beginning to Zamasu's plan to switch bodies with Goku and become Goku Black. This was the, this was the whole start of it all. Great fight. You should be proud of yourself. I mean, even though you're down on your knees right now looking like a bitch. Great fight. You cocky son of a Zamas. Zamas. You lucky this old bastard's here. So after that fight with Goku, the madness begun. And the full transition to the dark side began. Because in this man's thoughts, he was thinking, Oh, son Goku, thank you for teaching me this lesson. That mortals are dangerous beings and they must be exterminated. And you, son Goku, oh, I will never forget you.
So then one day, Gawasu and Zamasu are observing a T-Rex caveman looking civilization. Now as we can see, they are some barbarians. So Gawasu's like, uh, the violence is troubling. But then this man Zamasu says, well, I mean, master, why don't we just deal with them now? Zamasu, what do you mean by that? Oh, master, you know exactly what the fuck I mean. Extermination, master. I mean, look at them. They're barbarians. So they end up taking the time rings and going to that world to observe the civilization. Now, obviously, as we can see, <laughs> Revive. is disgusted. So Gowasu's like, all right, we're going to give him a chance. Let's jump a thousand years into the future and see what happens. So they jump into the future. They're still doing the same they thing. Progress, but as we can see, this civilization <laughs> Yo, they just fight all day. In his head. <laughs> this proves it. As long as mortals live in this world, this multiverse will never know peace. I, Zamasu, must be their savior. So later on, while they're still observing this planet, they end up getting attacked by one of the dudes. So Zamasu wastes no time, but raised his hand and said, By the hand of God, Zamasu already don't like mortals. So this, he he was waiting to, he was just waiting for an excuse to kill a mortal. It was this nigga, and at this point it was over. Zamasu was lost. So now we go back to the future timeline. And Trunks, Goku, and Vegeta are there because Bulma fixed a time machine. And right when they arrive, the divine menace returns. Well, oh my. What an entrance. Monkey. This is the entrance to Super Saiyan. Rose, oh my gosh, what a fucking e transformation. Looks like three motherfuckers came to get their ass whooped. How about you shut the fuck up and come get this fake bootleg Kakarot? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Vegeta. Hey, the fact that he had Vegeta chin up like this, like he was about to kiss a bitch. The disrespect to the Prince of All Saiyans. You do look good in blue. <gasps> what the fuck? Oh, zesty ass Kakarot. Hey, at this point, I knew Vegeta wasn't winning a fight because when have you ever seen the Vegeta smoke an opponent like this? And black smirks and looks at him like, bro, are you done yet? So Vegeta jumps off this man so fast. Wait, hold on, pause. But Blood was like, ah, oh, hell no, nah, I think I done fucked up. So this man Black walks out the pit, dust is off the gi, and drops this man to hell. So this man Black is and he like, for a lowly primate, I'll give you your props. So let me give you a reward. Give us a transformation. Oh, oh, oh. Y'all know when that when y'all ever hear that music in Dragon Ball Super, that's how you know a god has just appeared in the show. Super Saiyan Rose. Super Saiyan Rose. Sounds fancy. transformation. Quit hating, ho ass nigga. You should rejoice because I am divine. Hey man, we already knew you was kind of freaky, but this is kind of weird, man. Hey, we already knew you was kind of freaky. Now leave the stage. Nigga, you are. So this man Vegeta get mad. He start rushing him and everything again. But oh god, Vegeta. This is the sad part. Why, bro? Bro, stab oh. him in the chest. And then bro says, "Why, thank you, Vegeta, for the warm up, and also for keeping my seat warm at that round table of yours." Now, toodaloo, pussy. Oh, they always gotta do my man Vegeta bad. Bless our souls. So this man Goku tries to fight him. He immediately gets Molly walked. And then he came. Now that's enough, my nigga. Say the heavens opened up. Please. And then you see this man Zamba. So Lord have mercy, these brothers are about to get jumped. And dear God, this is one of the most demon tag teams you will ever see. So Goku starts scrapping with Zamba. Oh, this was the best animated fight of the fucking arc goku black and zamasu versus trucks and goku man that whole animated scene fight between both of them that shit was epic bro i loved it and they is seriously trying to catch a body right now so then zamasu like i thought we agreed that goku was mine but i'm sorry my brethren but i want to have fun too so we shall run their pockets together so this man Black started rushing Goku, and this man is such a copycat. Bro stole instant transmission. <laughs> Yo, he won up you on instant transmission. 
So Truck stabs him. Bro's like, wait a fucking minute. I'm mortal. Oh, not dying. So then he hit him with a final flash. And that ain't work. And then Zamasu ends up revealing. Yes, you lowly mortal. You probably get it now, don't you? I'm immortal so then this man goku come down then zamasu and black do the ultimate tag team move they hit these boys with a finisher black starts charging up at kamehameha zamasu holds both of them down and they blast these niggas to high heaven and there got it was gg after that they was done bruh zamasu just threw their ass on the ground so while they're about to finish him off and they taking 50 million hours to charge up this blast, Vegeta comes in and saves the day. And then the rebels come in and they hit him with some tear gas. So they ended up having to go back in time and fleeing back to the present. But since they know that Zamasu was working with Black, they went back to Universe 10 and Beerus wasted no time. Nigga said, Control Alt Delete. Oh, yeah. I think that was the first time we ever seen Beerus ever do. And he ended the Hakai. up erasing Zamasu from existence. Or so we thought. The super uber duba mega one. Yeah, alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. We have finally reached the end of the road. And it is time to put the puzzle pieces together. So they jump back to the future thinking everything has changed since Beerus erased Zamasu. But Dragon Ball time doesn't work like that. Because these two niggas are still here. And then they just straight up reveal everything to him. Goku was like, hey, we know what the fuck you did. You grabbed the Super Dragon Balls and you went to wish to buy this fake ass copy of me. <laughs> copy? Oh, how wrong you are, you dumb baboon. I'm Zamasu. Wait, the fuck? And who's that nigga? I am Zamasu as well. <laughs> hey, wait a damn minute. So what the fuck happened to Kakarot? Can't you tell? I stole his body. Then I killed that nigga. <laughs> okay, so yeah, this is when stuff just got absolutely wild. So yeah. This Time travel is always kind of tricky in anime. Is from this alternate future. And Goku Black is also Zamasu, but he's the Zamasu from the regular present timeline. And even though Beerus erased him, this Zamasu has a time ring. So anything that happens in the past doesn't affect him. And the reason why this man did this is so petty. This man said, oh, Goku, you had a role to play in this fuck fest of a time paradox. That day when you that, that fight, me, a god was the last fucking straw with you <laughs> goddamn mortals so one day i walked in on my master the nigga was watching god to it's crazy they was watching goku fucking fight here in the universe six tournament that's i like how they put that in the show too as well yo motherfucking ass number one trending 10 million views in five hours you were putting up mr beast numbers so obviously i left my hate comment because i hate you but the reason I hated you so much was because I wanted to be you. I wanted to be inside of you. Pause. 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 So I decided to kill my master, grab the super dragon balls, and take your goddamn body and kill you with it. Oh, but ladies and gentlemen, this is just the tip of the iceberg because it gets even worse. So Brody jumped timelines to the alternate future, killed the other Goasu, and allied himself with himself. Nigga, what the fuck? Bro has taken self-love to another degree. So then they got the future Dragon Balls of this future made this nigga immortal. Then they destroyed them. They started their zero mortals plan to eliminate all mortals in the multiverse. Nah, G, this is ridiculous. All because he lost a fight. <laughs> nigga lost a fight and became Thanos. And nah, then they started giving a speech on why they saved Earth for last. They was like, you earthlings deserve the highest of the punishments. All of you are sinners. All you do is start wars, bicker over politics, pay $29.99 for only fans. Only fans. <laughs> and the hub is free. Cancel Mr. Beast on Twitter every time the nigga does something somewhat good. Thanos was right. Mortals are sickness and therefore they will be cleansed by Zamasu. So they get the scrapping and these niggas is Ooh! I love that sequence that fucking Goku Black did. He did a backflip into a kick. 
Mm, the combo moves that Goku Black was giving him. Goku. Oh, God. So Zamasu come down to this man looking like a Disney Channel bully putting his hand on the wall and shit. And then he says, oh, Goku, I know I stole your body. But do you want to know what I did to your family? Hey, don't bring up Chi Chi. So after this man stole Goku's body, he showed up to their farm, killed Goku with his own body. Then he said, ah, fuck it. Might as well kill the rest of the family, too. No, not Chi Chi. Dear God, bro. Nah, this man Zamasu is the ultimate psycho. Bro really killed a man's family over a grudge. But now this man Goku went crazy as he rightfully should. And started mm. Yeah, Go Goku went crazy this scene. Nigga said, Boom. My face. So then Goku just started looking at Black's body. But then this man Goku gets hit by the nastiest finisher of all time. This nigga Black said, Get the fuck off me. Then blood hit him with the prepare to face my blade, pussy. I'm God. So bro hit him with the Nah, this attack is nasty. This attack is nasty. Yo, I wonder is it like um I'm trying to is Goku Black in the Dragon Ball Legends game? Cause if he is, can you use this attack? This is just one of them arcs where Goku got his ass beat worse than Vegeta. <laughs> nah, Vegeta got it worse. They got they ass whooped so bad that Goku and Vegeta had to leave. Trunks had to hold them off in this new form, which they was not phased by. Black looked at that shit and said, That's all you got? Oh, kid, I thought you were going to go blue or some shit. <laughs> but what the fuck is this? Nah, but this Trunks form is nice. I like this form. To whoop Trunks' ass Bro said all that screaming and hollering for what, nigga? And look at this. They made Vegeta do the goddamn electric slide. Nigga said, That man eating concrete. So after they end up leaving and Trunks somehow finds a way to get away from this fight, they end up coming back for round three. So during round three, multiple things happen. Vegeta, Loki got- I love this scene with Vegeta. Uh, the Prince of All Saiyans picked up Goku Black by the fucking hair, head butted him, and then- through his ass, bro. And Black made a f***ing scythe and cut open a... Hey, this scene was funny too because he didn't even know what that was. Yo, then he had <laughs> shadow clones coming out this hole and jumping these guys. But then, while they thought they had them on the ropes, the Zamasus revealed their trump card. You Fusion! Mortals, you niggas must know your play. You niggas in trouble. They do the unthinkable fusion to make the one and only divine menace. My form is justice. My form. My form. Why he always stand like that with his hands out like that? I am divine energy. I am divine energy. Yeah, bro, this man Zamasu is a sick ass motherfucker. This man decided to fuse with himself. This is narcissism to at his all time level. This man was like, You should know your place, you lowly apes. So this man started raining down divine lightning. And this just didn't even hit Goku and Vegeta. Look at the collateral damage. Poor <laughs> motherfucker got eviscerated. So then Vegeta started. Poor guy that walked up that subway. Again, bro, put out his hand by invading my personal space. That's a sin, and you shall be punished. So, man's throne and hit him with some divine zesty justice. And they tried everything. Trump said Vegeta hit him with a father son gallic gun. And that nigga was like, Foolish side characters. You think your character development will stop me? Know your place, mortal. So, he put this man Vegeta out like a damn light. So then Goku came up, so Zamasu was like, Foolish baboon. Nah, this one was unrealistic. Goku by himself won the beam struggle against a fusion character. That shit was unrealistic. The fact that Vegeta, Super Saiyan Blue, Trunks, and his new Super Saiyan God form, they combined had a beam struggle with Zamasu, and they couldn't even win the beam struggle. But Goku alone by himself won the beam struggle against a fused character. How does that make sense?
But it's Dragon Ball. The, the power, the power levels never make sense in Dragon Ball. Goku turned this nigga into Harvey Dent. Then he started beating this. The ball was giving him the footsies. And he beat this man's ass so severely, he beat the divinity out of that nigga. Bro lost his halo. So now we have gotten to the point where Zamasu has lost his mind. So Bro started losing it. This man has lost his sanity. And Bro grows his big ass mutated toxic ass looking ass arm. Bro grew a Play-Doh arm. So Goku and Vegeta ended up realizing that there was only one way to stop this menace, and that was Fusion. Well, who the fuck are you? I'm the nigga that's about to whoop your fucking ass. Call me Vegito. Oh, uh, you dead talk. Bro, if they had Vegito just end this arc, it would have been so perfectly. But I guess they're so used to Vegito. Or just Gogeta fusion characters getting the W. They wanted to switch it, but I, I liked how the um the arc ended. You know, they it was right to give Trunks the W. You know, because it, it did happen in his timeline. God damn right, fuckface. <laughs> so foolish. You mortals' brain must be the size of a pea, thinking you could stand up to a god. How foolish. I mean, who would have thought? <laughs> Facts. All that divine energy. Facts. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Find out, Kame, Kame, yo, yo. I love that fucking attack. Mario from the gods, but through the power of plot, Trunks comes in and saves the day and gives Zamasu the stiffy and shoves it up. His Mega pause, and that was the end of Zamasu. Psych. Okay, so here's what's up. Y'all thought that man is immortal, right? This man, man took over the whole universe. Nigga. Bro, spirit bonded with the universe, and this nigga turned into Gygus. He started covering the earth and spread his essence throughout the universe, also affecting other timelines. So, bro, spirit just said, Fuck it. He destroyed earth. Those poor little kids that they tried to make you feel sorry for eviscerated. Eviscerated. And it got to the point that Zeno had to get called to erase this nigga. And not just erase this nigga. Erase the whole erase universe. That entire timeline. Ladies and gentlemen, we are done here. <laughs> we are done here. Down. God bless America. And I pray to God this nigga does not haunt you in your nightmares. <laughs> Okay, man. Hey, look, another banger video by CJ the Champ. Now, what do you guys think? Do you guys think Goku Black deserves to be at the Black Air Force Round Table? Me personally, I do. I think Zamasu deserves to be in there as well, bro. Because he to to think that he started this whole thing just because he got his ass kicked by Goku. That's that's diabolical thinking right there, bro. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like. I really do appreciate it. Any other videos you guys want me to react to, just comment them down below. I got y'all. I'm saying thoughts. It's the same life. I'm out, bro. I love y'all.